Hello, everybody. Welcome to Polymer Clay TV. I'm Kira, and today I'm going to show you how to create this really fun lamp worky type effect on beads that are light or dark so that you can get these pretty luminescent effects. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to add color using alcohol inks, clear liquid bakeable clay. You can use the Sculpey brand, which is the one I like a lot. Um, Kato Clear and Fimo Gel will have similar results, but the Sculpey is easy to find and uh, has a nice consistency for this project. So that's what I'm using. Uh, and of course my Adirondack alcohol inks. That's the brand that I like and have the most of. And this is how we're going to mix these colors. So right here I have the yellow. This is sunshine yellow. This one is the flamingo pink. This is limeade green. And I have a little, basically just poured out a little bit of the Sculpey onto a tile. This is a glazed tile. This is Valencia orange. And I'm just going to put a drop. I'm going to let it evaporate for a minute. And I have a little stick and a rag handy, and I'm just going to mix the ink into the clay. And wipe off the extra. Now I've got a couple pieces of clay here, and the reason I have a white piece and a uh, chocolate brown piece of souffle, which is going to be similar to this bird that I showed you in the intro. So a light piece and a dark piece, and I've cut them out, and I also, the other thing I have here is my metal oxides and patina, and the white is open. Before I decorate, I'm just going to use my ultimate tool to make holes, because I do intend for these to be hung. So don't forget to do hole making and clean up and stuff before baking. Okay, so let's get on to the decorating part. For the light colored one, it's pretty easy. I have a set of clay dedicated brushes and all you have to do here is paint. Just pick up some of this color and paint it directly onto the clay base. Now my clay bases are not baked. They're raw clay. And in order to make this bead, which is a little bit more dimensional, I did this several times to build up a layer that you could see down into. So I would, I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to bake it and then probably bake it several times before I'm finished. So it's really easy to just pick up your alcohol infused liquid clay and make designs. And depending on your skill with paint brushes, you can make thin, thick, you can make something that looks like lamp or glass, you can do all kinds of fun things. You can make little designs like polka dots. You can just have fun with it. You can make borders. And because I plan to bake this multiple times, I can come back in and add color wherever I want it. Uh, I had planned on doing some yellow, probably in these flower petals, like so. And you can even mix them together as if they were paint. because the colors will blend. And I would say if you wanted a color in the middle of that flower, which is my plan, I would do that after the second, after the, the first baking. Because right now, if I drop, here, I'll show you what'll happen. If I drop this orange into the middle of that flower, 
it might spread a little bit more than intended. But if I wait and do it on the next baking, I have more control over where that color ends up. So now what if you have this dark colored piece of clay? What do you do then? Here's my suggestion, and here's exactly what I did for beads like this. Get yourself some white or pearl powder. And put the design down on the clay first using the powder. So I'll do the same kind of flower I prepared piece there and I'm just gonna pick up my paints and paint right over that white area and now my pink has the white to reflect off of in the background instead of just kind of disappearing into the brown so that's my number one tip for you is to remember that if you're painting light colors over dark backgrounds, you want to prepare your background by having that light color over it first. Now Sculpey does make a white bakeable clay, so if you wanted to, if that's something you had on hand or wanted to experiment with that technique, then you would want to paint this area in with your white bakeable clay first, and then paint your colors over it. See how easy and fun that is? So now my challenge to you is to go ahead and play with your liquid clay and your alcohol inks and make something fun. And why don't you come on over to Polymer Clay Tribe on Facebook, which you can find at polymerclaytribe.com, and upload what you made. I'm also giving away this pendant as a gift for someone who comments on my blog post. So come on over to polymerclaytv.com, check out all the other projects and techniques we have listed, and leave me some feedback and, or a comment, and I'm going to pick a winner next week. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Polymer Clay TV.